The Shaman of the Shaganumbi caught all the thoughts of the dead in the bottle. As long as it remained closed, their wisdom would be kept safe for all time. If the bottle was opened, however, the wrath of the dead would be unleashed. I already have the bottle.
Let's both take it on. It's time to set a new course. Aye, aye, Captain. Antigua, the pirate's den. You're no pirate until you've been here and survived it. And I thought all I needed was an eye patch. Now we can get that wreck waiting to happen fixed up. What's wrong with my ship? Have you seen your ship? No food, no drink, no possible way of defending ourselves. Oh, little things. So I'm here as an errand boy, am I? <laughs> no such luck. You're the captain now. And no real captain would admit to being in charge of a ship in that state. So what exactly do we need? Water, food, cannons, gunpowder. Not that all? Maybe a fresher outfit. I'm to go for a drink now, right? No. Go to the tavern and ask the barman about Nasir. That's all. Come with me. Great.
Is that your ship? And who's asking? Me, Rick. I'm storehouse master around here. You name it, and I'll ship it in and out. Cool. You really a captain? At your age? I wish I could be like you. You've got plenty of responsibilities here. Yeah, but not like you have. Your own ship and crew, it must be brilliant. Being a pirate, getting all them tarts and treasure. It has its moments. That ship, that's Slane's vessel? That it is. He's up at the captain's house talking to the Admiral. The captain's house? Straight down the alleyway and past the tavern. Tallest building in the city, you can't miss it. Admiral, strange title for a pirate. I think he awarded it to himself, to be honest. It suits him, though. He pretty much keeps this place going. Up at the captain's house, that's where he is most of the time. What kind of ship's equipment you got? You name it, we've got it. Barrels of gunpowder, wood, nails, toolboxes, everything. That's good to know. Right, first I need powder kegs. Sorry, mate, no can do. Now's not a good time, you know what I mean? Are you kidding? First you list your entire stock, and then... Admiral's orders. No trading allowed as long as Slane's still here. No one's allowed to supply anything that might find its way to Slane. Come on, just a couple of powder kegs. Sorry, no can do. Defy the Admiral's orders, no way. I'd do that, be using me for a sabre practice. You like this kind of work? Not really, but I don't have the gold to do what I really want to do. Gold's not hard to come by in a place like this. Yeah, Antigua is supposed to be full of treasure sites. I'll find just one of them and I'll be rolling in it. I'll take a look and see what I can find. Seriously? Oh, that would be brilliant. I'll return the favour, no worries. Well, we haven't agreed anything yet. Come on. You want to get a reputation for breaking the creed? I just don't like being forced into things, that's all. Well, if you change your mind, if you find something, just keep me in mind, okay? If you're looking for me, I'll be at the storehouse. How am I doing? You know there's more to being a pirate than an eye patch and a saber, don't you? I'll be my own kind of pirate, thanks. Ah, oh, that's actually one of the things you need. Well done. Go on in, pal. It ain't gay night, but we need the business. If it was gay night, you'd be round the tradesman's entrance. Hey, do I look like the kind of guy you want to mess with? It's your job to kick them out, is it? Only when they get on my tits. Is that the only reason you kicked them out? Pretty much. So what sort of thing riles you? Arseholes asking me stupid fucking questions. All right. Do you get a lot of trouble from pirates? Pissed up ones, yeah. Big fella like you, I bet you could teach me a thing or two about fighting. Yeah, if you pay. Show me a few tricks. Like what? How can I cope better with cuts? No point fussing over every last scratch. A nick in the arm won't stop you from fighting. Grit your teeth and ignore the pain. It's all a question of attitude. No. But then muscles aren't my thing. <sighs> I'll be watching you, pal. I bet you will. Been too long since I've been raiding. 
There ain't nothing like it coming back from a raid. Pockets filled with gold. Whores lined up along the quay to welcome you home. There's still enough gold left for all the rum you can drink. To be sure, but it's not all fun on a raiding voyage. Aye, there's sea monsters and protectors to worry about. Or getting shipwrecked on some island full of bloody savages. Or serving under some psycho captain like Slain. Too right. You hear what happened to poor old Jonesy? Aye. Talk back the Slain, he did. He got thrown overboard for his trouble. They're not all psychos, though. Things just aren't what they used to be. I'll drink to that. As will I. Except we ain't got any rum. All the gold to buy it. Bloody trade embargo. Ever heard of the sunken ones? Supposed to be things made by that hell bitch, Mara. What's that? Drunken ones? No, you daft git sunken ones. Where do they come from? She captures our souls like you and me and changes them. That Mara. I don't believe half the stories about her. Then you should, mate. Are you having a fucking laugh? What the fuck are you doing? It's a new captain. Welcome to the Witch's Cauldron, the most notorious bar in all the Southern Seas. First drinks on the house. What can I get you? How about a dram of whiskey? Uh, sorry, Captain, we're all out of whiskey. In that case, I'll take a jar of grog. My apologies, Captain. The town drunk pissed the last of the grog against the back wall yesterday. Just give me some rum. Um, uh, rum happens to be a bit expensive right now. Pick something else, huh? Are you trying to make a fool of me? No, no. It's just that I've hardly been getting any overseas deliveries. Not since our monster trouble. I was hoping you'd ask for a beer. Like I say, on the house. Quiet night, is it? Oh, it will fill up later. Probably. Probably. Time was, the cauldron was a real party place. Customers have been a bit thin on the ground lately. Got to a bit. All them krakens and that have ruined me trade. Come on, Spence, don't get depressed. Snap out of it, son. As long as you don't start talking to yourself, it'll all be fine. Sorry? Sorry? D did you say something? Quite the joker, aren't you? You like jokes? You want to hear one? All right, then. Good. Horse walks into a pub, and the landlord says... Why the long face? Cracks me up, that one. <laughs> Go on, then. Why does it take pirates so long to learn the alphabet? Because they spend months stuck at sea. <laughs> Here, do you want another one? Not really, no. What do you call a pirate with no eye? A prate. I already heard it. I'm looking for Nasir. Do you know where he is? Nasir? It's been a long time since I heard that name. Skinny streak of piss he was. Looked like an anorexic grasshopper. Didn't survive last winter. Oh, great. Well, you can still visit his grave. He's buried at the captain's house. Here, I'll draw it on the map for you. Where do you get your rum from? Promise you won't tell a soul. I promise. All right. Up in the hills, about five miles away, there's a cave. And in that cave, there's a magic rum fountain. Look, just fuck off, will you? All right, keep your wig on. Normally, I trade with booze on Takarigua. But there aren't that many ships that sail between the islands anymore. Which is why he still owes me a shipment. Hang about. You've got your own ship, right? Tell you what, bring me over that shipment, and I'll give you 1,000 gold. 
I'll get you the rum from Takariko. Great. Tell booze I send you. Can you teach me something other than jokes? Of course. You just say when. Teach me something. What do you want to know? What do you have to offer? Oh, typical of father giving a clue to a dead man. Uh, I'm betting he wasn't dead when he got it. Then maybe it just got him killed. Pirate captains, then. So, just got back from your first raid. Bet you couldn't wait to get stuck in and lose your plunder, Cherry. Funny guy. Think you'll be as funny with my sword buried in your guts? Sorry, mate. Did I miss all the yarns about you and your big pirate adventures then? Take my captain. Now there's a real pirate captain for you. Always first into the action. Always first to get his blade blooded. And generous, too. Always shares out the loot fair and square. Sounds like someone's got a bit of a crush. Are you talking about Captain Slain? Of course, who else? Smart, he is. The smartest pirate in all the Southern Seas. Can't wait to get back out there on the ocean. Plenty of rich pickings out there, just waiting for us to find them. Sounds good to me. Was it difficult to get signed up with Slane's crew? Ha! <laughs> There's a good story there. I used to be a thief before I was a pirate. Stole this jewel that the captain had his eye on. So he made you a deal? The jewel in exchange for a place among his crew? Smart, see? Fighting's not always the best way to get what you want. Yeah, you really got the best of that deal. You're telling me? Got any good loot, your Captain Slane? Well, I shouldn't be talking about it, mine, but he's only got himself that bloody sacrificial knife thing. Have you actually seen this dagger? What's it matter to you? You're starting to do my head in with these questions. Go and annoy Alvarez. He can tell you about the dagger. 
What's Alvarez got to do with the dagger? Him and the captain struck a deal together. Alvarez gave him a lot of supplies and the promise of getting the dagger in return. Alvarez won't believe that the captain doesn't have it anymore. And does he? Of course not. He's a man of his word, the captain. An honest pirate. There's a rare thing. The dagger, you know where it is? I'm not telling you that. What do you think I am, fucking stupid? Give up. This one's no help. Nice try, though, mate. Nice try. Any chance you could teach me something about stealing? Giving up on pirating already, are you? No chance. I'm not giving away any tricks of the trade. Fine. I'll find someone else to show me. Not without steel beard to lead him. And he was the best of them all. Hey there. Hey there yourself, Captain. You're a sailor? Helmsman. Big ships, small ships, you name them, I've sailed them. Any chance you're looking for a helmsman? Sorry, I've already got one. Any good, is he? She does a pretty good job. You better not just be saying that because I'm standing beside you. A woman? Bloody hell, I've heard it all now. Wouldn't you rather have a proper Ellsman doing the job? Wouldn't you rather get a proper swift kick in the balls? I'll handle this. I'm a fine Ellsman. I wouldn't disappoint you. I'm sticking with the one I've got, thanks. You heard the man. You can't blame me for wanting to feel the wind in my face again. <laughs> How's the rum? Good. Spencer's stuff is the best your money will buy. Well, that's that then. What do you mean? We're all pretty much fucked, I reckon. Can you ride? Are you having a fucking laugh? The pyro captains, then. Not without steel beard to lead them. And he would. That looks like a lot of work. That it is, lad. Is it something important you're after? Only if it isn't. Piss off out of it. I'm busy. Nice cannons you've got here. Aye, and hands off. I'm selling nothing. Not till the trade embargo's lifted. Couldn't you make an exception? I ain't breaking the Admiral's embargo for you, lad. Why the fuck do you think I'd do that? You're the new captain, ain't you? 
Wow, I must have really made an impression. Yeah, your name's on everyone's lips, lad. I am? What do they say? You won't last two minutes. That's what everyone thinks. Because I'm too young to be a captain? No, because you're the jumped up little no mark who gets up people's noses. No offense. What do I have to do to make you sell me something? I'm selling nothing. If you really want to do something about it, get Alvarez and Slane to kiss and make up so the embargo gets lifted. We could all be doing something more useful than waiting for those two to sort out their differences. All right, you win. How much? It's not about gold, lad. It's a matter of principle. I suppose he's not a man you want to cross, the Admiral. Back in the day, he was the finest captain of them all. He was? Yeah, and it wasn't just his friends said that. His enemies, too. Not many captains can say that. You'd be well advised to treat him with respect. How well do you know? Well enough not to get in his way. He might be getting on a bit, but I wouldn't underestimate him. Ah, but that's enough frigging chit-chat. I ain't starting a fight with the Admiral over nobody like you, lad. We must be able to work something out. Like I told you, lad, I'm busy. Now piss off and let me work in peace. You don't get rid of me that easily. I'm not leaving until you've sold me those cannons. There's nothing you can give me that I might want. Don't bother coming back. Not unless you think of something to make it worth my while. 